Hey guys, I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here, one trailer at a time. Today, we're gonna look at a 2014 Kodiak, model number 331RLSL. It's an aluminum frame, fiberglass skin trailer, weighs around 7,700 pounds, three slides, rear living room, fantastic. Say hello to my friend, Brandon, Bam Bam, Hannah Meyer. How's it going, guys? Right on. He's somewhat of a Kodiak himself, very aggressive, burly. Uh, you'd say Kodiak Bear, right? Fantastic. Front power jack, 30 pumper paint tanks, battery in a box, and giving it going behind. I mentioned fiberglass skin. The exterior of this one looks fantastic. You know, it being a seven year old trailer, it looks very, very good. Wouldn't you agree, Brandon? I do agree. It looks very nice. Right on. Excellent. We pay him to agree. Passer storage in through there. We got four manual stabilizer jacks. We got our bedroom slide out right here, <clears throat> sewer drain down below. We have a nice light here to light up this kind of area because we got our sewer, city water, spray port, 50 amp service, black water flush kit, cable satellite, fresh water fill, six gallon gas electric water here, and our furnace. One of the things I like about it is all this stuff is on this side away from the campsite. Fridge vent, range hood vent, nice frameless windows throughout on this model. <clears throat> As we come around the back side here, you got a roof ladder. Get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. We got a full size spare. We're gonna put a nice, Lazy Acre tire cover on there. We saw a barbecue in that front passenger storage. That clips on right there, easy peasy. And then when you got that clipped on, you hook it up to your propane quick connect down there. This is our living room slide. Nice big door side window. Three step entrance, lend a hand grab angle. I said 7,700 pounds, 7,660 to be exact. Have a look at these tires. Brandon, what do you think, buddy? 15 inches. 15 inch aluminum rims, uh, decent spread on them, gonna tow pretty good. This is kind of one of those sweet spots where you can park something like this, you could tow something like this. Nice, nice trailer. Didn't talk about the uh, awning though, so we should focus up here, Josh. Electric awning starting right here, going all the way forward to there. A nice bedroom window here as well. Let's have a look at the inside, guys. Right on, guys, we're inside that Kodiak 331RLSL. You just walked in the main door. Looking towards the back here, we have our opposing slides. Over here in our dinette slide or kitchen slide, however you want to think of this, we got this really nice freestanding table and chairs. The insert in this table here is like a solid surface. Very, very classy, very nice. Four chairs, door side windows. Right here, though, we have our TV. It's a high A TV, built in DVD player below it, and then some storage here all throughout. Now, further back, <clears throat> We've got ourselves a tri-fold sofa. It's not all three cushions that are gonna come out. It's these two right here. We got windows in behind that with some nice storage here above the couch. Further over here, we have our secondary couch. I imagine this is a jackknife style, which it is, yep. So you can sleep a smaller person on there. And then above that, we have storage. One of the great things about this floor plan is we have windows on all three sides, not just the door side. So we have windows on the door side, back, and on the off door side. Six cubic foot gas electric fridge. <clears throat> All the countertops in here are solid surface. Nice pot and pan drawer down below. Our oven's right here. What did you say about this, Brandon? It's extreme? Was it words you used? Um, I forget. Intense. 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 Yeah. Fantastic. There was a, like a solid surface cover over top of our three burner stove. That just giving us a lot more counter space. You know, space to set things. Very nicely finished off through there. Stainless steel, uh, range hood, microwave, and then behind me, we got some more stuff going on. Plates and cup action. Okay. Some more solid surface here. Nice cupboard right there. And then our drawers are built in down here. <coughs> cupboard, cupboard. All right, plenty of counter space, plenty of storage. Undermount stainless steel split sink pull out faucet. Now coming out of the kitchen, Going forward, oh, I like those pendant lights, that's very nice. Fantastic. Going forward, we do have a closet as we walk in where you can hang up your jackets. We have access to the bedroom this way. Well, we're gonna go through the washroom. Having a seat here for our squat check. It's a uh, porcelain toilet, feels pretty awesome. Linen closet here behind me, okay? And then up and into the shower. I'm six feet tall, just to give you an idea of the, the space here. My head's not in the skylight, maybe just a wee bit, but not really. I can easily shower in here, neo-angled glass shower. Now what is cool about this bedroom bathroom floor plan is the bedroom slide is so long. It starts right here 
and then goes forward. So it includes our sink, which we got some storage below, some more linen storage there, and then into the bedroom we have our queen bed out in the slide, which gives us plenty of floor space around the bedroom. Fantastic. Now looking forward, uh, we're talking about the bed. We do have a nice kind of front closet here. Okay, with hanging stuff over top, shelf right here to plug some stuff in, drawers down below, and then more, more closet space right up through here. And then we talked about this on the outside, but we've got this killer um, <clears throat> uh, door side window in our bedroom as well. And then just the pleated blinds here blocking off the light. Awesome, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share that with your friends. You can email us here at sales at lazyacres.com or you can call us at 705-833-2539. Have a good day.